Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the multi-body parts in SolidWorks. I can remember when I first found this out and it absolutely blew my mind. Um, so I'm sharing it with you guys. Hopefully you'll find it helpful if you don't know it already. Okay, let's jump in and take a look. So this is uh, the objective of today's um, video and where multi-body parts are particularly um, helpful are like grips and handles, over molded um, parts and in reality there'd be ribbing, um, filling this void in here to increase the surface area for manufacture. But we're not going to worry about that too much today. Um, just going to try and you know get the concept of the multi-body part across. Okay, let's give it a go then. So first, we're going to come on the top plane, and I'm going to sketch basically a layout sketch that gives us the size of our grip I'm going to right click select chain and make it construction because I'm not going to use the elements of this I'm going to use it as a construction block Okay, that is our grip uh, sort of profile. Come on the front plane and we will sketch. Come to an arc, and make the base of the arc coincident on the origin. And we're gonna say that it's gonna be 100 mil high, radius 420. And then we're going to put a construction line down here to make it tangent to. Just press the press the line, hold control, take the other line, make it tangent. We'll come up to sweep. Select our profile, select our path, and there we go. Come on to the front plane, sketch. Become normal too, and this is this sketch is going to form our over molded section. So you can you can sort of change it however you want to. And I'm going to select right click, select chain. I'm going to fix it just for speed in this tutorial. Features extrude cut. We'll go through all both. So this has created our sort of void for the overmolded section to come into. Uh, and now if we come back on the front plane and sketch go normal too. And we're gonna select I'm holding control on the keyboard. Um, select the model geometry and convert the entities which is a nice sketch tool and then we'll select this part of the arc up there and our new line make them tangent so we've got the nice transition and we'll come features extrude and we're going to go up to surface in direction one not that surface and up to surface in direction two and then the important part here is where it says merge results, untick the box, and that will enable us to create the multi-body part. And as I said at the beginning, when I found this, this is it is a game changer for your modeling. Um, 
so powerful you can do so much with it so i really would uh recommend people giving it a go and you know let me know how you get on with it don't be afraid to give it a go so we'll come in now and we'll put some fillets in There we go. And it's worth noting we've got the bodies up here. Um, you do have to adapt your workflow a little bit when you do multi body part modeling because visibility can sometimes be tricky. And that's where the isolate tool comes into its own, which you guys are probably already familiar with um, in assemblies. And this vertice, this vertex was hidden. So by isolating the other body, we've been able to come in and put that fillet in there nicely. And we'll do the same on this part. Okay, so it's looking nice. I'm just gonna hide the planes and apply an appearance for clarity mainly. And I'm just gonna change that to orange because I think it looks better, no, no other reason. Um, and there's a little bit more detail I wanna do just on the grip section. So we'll come onto the front plane, sketch, normal to and just going to fix that there again for speed in the tutorial features extrude cut we we'll go through all both and now we're just going to come up here and do a curve derive pattern it's another really nice tool we haven't looked at it before select the curve come down to features select the feature put in your spacing 20 and yeah that's that's quite nice Put a few fillets in, two mil. And then finish it up with shell, 2.5 mil thick, top and bottom to hollow out our grip section. I might isolate this one. Just put a little one mil fillet in on the edge. There we go, it's, it's looking quite nice. Section it. Yeah, looks good, I'm happy with that. So um, that's it for today, guys. Um, if you if you like the video, found it helpful, please like um, and hit the subscribe button. If you've got any questions, uh, drop me a comment and of course I'll try and help where possible. Um, and let me know, you know, if you're going to give it a go, let me know how you get on. Um, don't, don't be afraid to give it a go. It, it's a really good tool. Um, it's a good modeling technique, sorry, should I say. Um, 
it, it enables you to create parts that you know are going to fit. Um, and at a later date, I'll show you how we separate the parts off to create. Um, you can create separate parts from a multi-body part that you can save the files off, which is good if you then want to go in and create drawings and stuff and then assemblies. Um, but that's for another day. This is just to show you the basic technique. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching and uh, see you again soon. Bye.